Hello. Hi. Savory snacks time. Bring it. <laughs> what? I'm hungry. I didn't have dinner today. Oh, I bring it. And it's hot. What is this? Bento squid seafood snack hot and spicy. Yeah, have the other one. <clears throat> oh my goodness. What? Mr. Squid shredded seasoned squid jerky. That's interesting. What's today's theme? Squid. Shredded squid. That sounds good. Mr. Squid shredded squid. <laughs> Mild spicy, this one. Delicious and fun. Sounds good. What is this? Hot and spicy. I've never seen this ever. It's from Woolworths. Really? It was around um, Mooncake Festival. They had all this sort of stuff. 120 grams, six packs. Servings per page, six makes sense. 20 grams. Made in Thailand, okay. Mm, ingredients, squid, 35% surimi. What's that? Do you know? It's like a fish mixture, like fish sticks almost. I see. 30% fish sugar stabilizers. Wheat, humectant, sugar, chili, tapioca starch, garlic, fructose. Flavor enhances 621, 631, and 627. Must be good. Salt, flavor, and acidity regulator. Allergen advice contains fish and gluten. Imported by Woolworths. Interesting. Have you had this before? Yep. It's super expensive. $13.50 full price for the whole packet. But it's got six individual serves. Usually if you go buy those at the shop individually, they're like $2.50 or $3 for one. $2 something's not too but bad. I finally got it on half price clearance, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Still like six bucks, six, $6.50 or $6.75 or something. Not cheap. Oh. oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> Riff it off. Are there three in there? Like no, I mean like in the packet you're holding, the little one. I don't know. Are there three or is it just one? I guess one? we'll find out when I open it. There's a few in there. It's not one. Alright. Let's open it. On the front you'd think that there were three pieces in there. Possibly. I have no idea. I've never seen this. I've never eaten I've this never either. Some Asians we are. Oh, that smells really strong. It's on like a nice little tray, if I can get the tray out. There you go. Oh, look. I have never seen anything like this before. Looks like the packet. Kind of, not as shiny. But got the lighting nice. Oh. Oh, they're all stuck together. I just got a waft of that. Yeah, it smells really strong, like. It smells like Samtas seafoods in the city. Like it smells like a fish market. Oh, they're all stuck together. All right, one sip. <laughs> the sip is sticky. Oh. All right, that's yours. <laughs> yeah, right, there you go. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's like wheat mix. It multi -layer. is so, it's like sticky but soft. That's, is that, is it supposed to be like that or is it just because it's I don't know, hot? it's been hot in Adelaide this week. Really hot, let's so. say. Hence why I have no shirt on, sorry. But. It's hot in Thailand as well, so if this is normal. Oh, that is spicy. Yes. Asians don't mess around with spice. This isn't Western spice. Oh, this is good. I like spicy. Um, it tastes really salty. Yes. It tastes just like MSG probably. Yes. Just super salty and a bit spicy. It doesn't really... All right, that's appealing to me. That sounds good. Go on then, shut that in your mouth. No, you touch that piece. <laughs> Everyone knows you're a germaphobe. Depends how many videos I've Well, watched. I have to eat this whole idea. No, you just eat it. Just eat it. It's not going to kill you. Oh. What? Such a weird texture. <laughs> oh, it's like sticky, but a bit crunchy, but a bit soft. I don't even know how to describe it apart from it being sweet and salty and spicy. What does it even taste like? Like in I terms of what, what seafood it tastes like? 
doesn't really taste seafoody though. It's got like a sweet and sour taste to it. Like a um, kind of the initial flavor of sweet and sour pork in a way. Like it just as it touches your mouth. It's got that first sweet yeah, and sour touch. Because it's got a sweet flavor to it. It's definitely sweet. That's why it's so sticky. It's super sticky when you touch it. The like toffee. I wouldn't say it's a squid flavor. It's more a fish flavor, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Yeah. I don't know either. I've not eaten anything that kind of tastes like this. The texture is like stale cornflakes. Like if you poured out a bowl of cornflakes in the morning and then forgot about it and then came back after work in the nighttime and then went, oh, I better eat these cornflakes. No, they would be super soggy. It'll be like those sweet cornflake things that you put in cupcakes for birthday parties. Yeah, but it's like if you left a box of <coughs> cornflakes open for six months in your pantry and then went back to it when they got all stale. It's not the best texture I've ever had. No. This is about the flavour. I don't mind it though. It's because of the MSG and the hot mm. and spicy and the sweet, it's moorish. But it's very but smelly. Stinks. If you hate fish, if you cannot handle seafood, uh, I yeah. would not recommend. It's got a very strong seafoody smell. What is this like? Fish oh. sticks, like you know those fake crab sticks and things like that, so, like fish bowls or something like that. Like, no, it's the weirdest seafood flavor I've ever had. It's the, it's something by itself. It doesn't taste like anything else. Try it. It's special. Yes, buy it on special. Probably, uh, yeah. It's I've, a bit I've, expensive for a snack. You can buy these individual packs. From Asian stores. Oh yeah. So if you want to spend two dollars fifty on a pack, this is what you get. It's worth a worth a try if you've never had this sort of seafood taste before and you want to try an interesting seafood flavor. It's very interesting. I could eat a whole packet. I don't. You, you haven't stopped. Like this can't be as gross as some MSG. of the things I've given you. Same as Jean. Also, I said I haven't had dinner, and we just. Did a lot of working out. Hmm. What would I give this out of 10? Would I want you to buy it again? Probably not. Because there are other things I'd prefer. You still got five more packets to eat. <laughs> <laughs> this will last us for years. It's got like <laughs> a, another eight months expiry date on it as well. It's such a weird texture though. It's so sticky. I hate the texture. It's probably like stale sweet popcorn yeah, yeah, that yeah. you've left yeah. out for ages and it's just super sticky but a bit soft and... If you open a packet of caramel popcorn, like not the crunchy one though, but just like a... a something sticky and then you left it in the cupboard <coughs> for ages and you went back after a few months and you ate it, it would be like... And you put some gross. spicy on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give these a 4 out of 10. Yeah. Um, Right there with you. Okay. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of room for improvement. This one, you can actually see what it looks like inside. I'm probably a bit more excited about this. It kind of looks like meat floss, which I like. Mild, spicy, delicious and fun. About 2.3 servings per package. Serving size 28 grams. Doesn't seem very big. 65 grams. Mm. Ingredients. Squid, 91%. What was the other one? I forgot. 35%. Oh, so this will be very squiddy. Hot and spicy powder, 4.5%. Sweetener. Chili, salt, flavour enhancer. All the same one, 631, 627, and our favourite, 621. Soybean sauce, seasoning sauce, food preservative, and acidity regulator. Allergy information, including soybean and wheat. Um, oh, warning excess consumption may have a laxative effect. That's because it's got the sweetener sorbitol in it. 
Shredded squid are for human consumption only, not to be used as bait or feed for aquatic animals. Mm, product of Thailand as well. Have you had this before? No. I've not had this or before. Or not in 30 years. I may have had it. I've seen it in so many Asian supermarkets since I was a kid, but it's not something that's ever really appealed to me. Oh, no. Get that out into a plate. Oh, that smells let's very see, strong. Let's see inside the packet first then. Yes, all right, plate time. With my awesome plating seals. Oh, this is all stuck together as well. I think it's the weather. It's, it's oh. almost like 30 something degrees in my house. Oh well, we'll just have to eat it all. <laughs> Look at that. That is one big blob. <clears throat> this smells very strong too. This smells more like squid though, like what I would expect squid to smell like, dried squid. You know, on camera, this does not have the best look to it. It looks like something you dug up out of the garden, you know, like a dead tree. <laughs> Or something that came out of a pot plant, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, like, like tree roots, roots or something. Well, it feels like what I would expect. Are you this expecting thing. this to be good? Like better than the other one? This one that we just ate? Yeah. Yes, I would expect this to be sweet, uh, not sweet, like salty and like jerky. This I should like be the beef, like the beef jerky of yeah, squid. Yeah, I like that. And as a kid, I used to eat like dried squid, so. It All doesn't right. freak me out. Here we go. It has the exact texture that I would expect. Have more. There's like a whole blob. I will have more. You have some too. I'm waiting for you to unblob it a little bit. I'm more. trying not to touch it all because then no, you're no, going to no, be all weird fine, about it. Fine. Oh, look. Yeah, eat all See, that. I did a good job. Eat all of it. Show it all. There you go. See, show the viewers how easy it is to eat. How easy it is to chew. <laughs> it's not tough at all. <laughs> so tender, it just melts in the mouth. It's actually not as tough as the beef jerky. If you haven't seen that video, go watch the beef jerky video. See, yeah. 60, 65 grams of jerky in a beef jerky you usually get about 40 grams. So 65 grams is one and a half times what you get. This is pretty expensive still though. It's the same price as beef jerky would be for a pack. This is 525 full price at Woolworths. I like it. You it like tastes it. good. It's it, like a bit chewy. I love chewy things because they just last longer. I like the texture. The best 525 I've ever spent, even though I got 30% off, so I spent less. But. I'll tell you, I spent five twenty-five on you just then. Well, worth it. Cheap scope. If you're happy, <laughs> it's worth it. With my thirty percent discount, definitely worth it. All right, you eat some. I want to see if you like it. Did you eat dry squid growing up? Nope. Oh my god. This actually has, the initial flavour as it hit my mouth is actually a flavour I wasn't expecting but it's a flavour I really like. It's the flavour of the little dried shrimp in that Cantonese people or people from Hong Kong use in their sticky rice. It has a better texture though. This is nice. I like it. it. It tastes very familiar to me. It's got a very Southeast Asia flavor to it, which is comforting. I could sit here and eat this all night pretty happily. Me too. What drink would you pair with it though? Ice tea for today. It's tea. hot. Yeah. Like a sweet iced tea would be nice. It kind of hydrates in the mouth. It's actually a lot softer than beef jerky. Mm. But while being soft, it's not easy to 
it doesn't just dissolve straight away it kind of hydrates and then expands a bit and then gets a bit like cotton wool fluffy if you leave it in your mouth like it's got a fluffy texture a wet fluffy cotton wool texture. this doesn't sound nice it's not the nicest feeling thing in my mouth but it's a lot softer than jerky i like it like it hydrates more it's closer to a biltong texture when you're chewing it than a jerky it's definitely not as dry as the jerky. It just looks weird though. I like it. Would I want you to buy it again? Yes. You may spend another five twenty-five. No way. Never pay full price. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for you, of course, I'd spend five twenty-five. That's better. <laughs> what kind of friend are you? I wouldn't really spend five twenty-five. Thirty percent off. <laughs> I heard that. Price. I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. I really like these. 7.5. Alright, I'm going to leave Linda to finish her squiddy snacks. See ya. Bye.